Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a power supply unit. Now, if this video is not for you, you can go ahead and click away right now. So this is called the Sky RC Extreme 1200 watt power supply unit. And it's advertised as, you know, just the, the, the power supply unit used with the ISDT charger. I think the T6, which is rated up to 800 watts, which is pretty insane. And um, what what is this for really? Like what, what can you use this? For example, this will do the conversion from AC to DC to that ISDT T6, which is running at 800 watts. And uh, that thing is running at 800 watts. It's, it's basically to charge parallel charge 6S LiPos at a pretty high amperage. So this is the kind of setups you probably end up needing if you're really going to take that route into 6S. And there's probably other solutions as well. But this is a really nice price, 100 bucks for such a pretty massive power supply, which is really nice. Another thing you can use this for is as a 24 volt power supply unit for whatever it takes 24 volts. And to know you have 50 amps and 1,200 watts of power, it's, it's really, really good. So the reason why I'm doing this is I'm picking this up is because I will be picking up that ISD charger, but the main reason for this on this channel is to do stress testing. Yes, stress testing 6S ESCs. Not all four together, one at a time for right now until I get the, the, the until I get it down just right because I do not want to catch this place on fire. So just one at a time, I could easily hopefully turn off one ESC at a time. So I need to practice and make a setup where I can do that stress testing until the FET blows up or something of that nature. So this guy is going to be used for that as well, which is really nice. So let's just take a look at some of the inputs and talk some about some of the specs. So obviously you can tell right there, it's 24 volts, 50 amps. This is the European version. They do also have the US version and uh, it does have overcurrent protection, over temperature protection, short circuit protection, and an input fuse on the AC, uh, and the input fuse on the AC part, which is really nice. Now, if we take a look at the outputs here, they give you four outputs, which is really good also. So you don't, you're not just, you don't have just one main one, which you have to make extra wires for to run to everything you need it for. So you got your main, your main output here, it's rated for max of 60 amps, which is really nice. And you get, they give you three more smaller ones that are rated for maximum of 10 amps, which is really cool. And these have, these are selectable, so you can turn them on and off. So this is really nice in that perspective. So let's just say for some reason, uh, you want to run your TS100 portable soldering iron. All you gotta do is just stick it in there, just like so. Just boom, boom, and you're good to go. So we do have to, we have two fans actually. We have a temperature controlled smart fan, so this will turn on. It won't stay super loud always. When it needs it, it'll boot up. And we also have another fan back here, which is really good to see. And here's the input. It's kind of like the PC power input. And again, this is the EU version. They come with two versions, so make sure you choose the correct one before purchasing. Uh, so I'm currently in Europe, so you chose the European version. And we have a main power and off switch here. So it's really nice. It's really well made. It's super heavy here and it's all metal. So I think the whole case here is acting also as a heat sink possibly because it just has that same design of a heat sink here, which is a, a huge plus, I would say, if you're running this super maximum. So we will be testing this uh, very soon once I figure out how to set up the stress testing. And once I receive that T ISDT charger and probably pick up a couple more larger chargers and see how well this handles. But overall, this looks like a really good solution. These come in different sizes. So if you need something for 12 volts, you need something for, I think, other things as well. But I know they have another one for 12 volts for sure. And maybe one for 16 volts or something. Uh, something of that nature. I'm not sure. I'll leave them linked down below. You can go ahead and check them out. But yeah, overall, it looks good. That's all I can currently say until I go ahead and set up a stress test for this guy. But um, overall, and well, that's going to include it for my overview of the Sky RC Extreme Power Supply Unit, which is rated for 1,200 watts, 24 volts, 50 amp output, which is really nice. And well, that's it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.